Alison Borg Schulte has been marveling at marvels for a long time, and she's found a way to bring out the full beauty of marvelous marvels. Our Lance Schwartz joins us with her story. Lance? Bill, I always enjoy seeking out new interesting ways of that people do their art, and this is definitely one of those ways. Alison Borg Schulte grew up in Bellevue near Fontenelle Forest, and it was there that nature got young Allison starting to dream about one day becoming an artist. After high school, she attended the Kansas City Art Institute and eventually got a job at a Kansas City marble company. I said, sure, yeah, I'll work for you for a few years until I find something else. And I've been working for him for 11 years. Allison Borg Schulte's job at Moon Marble Company reintroduced her to a childhood fascination. I've always loved marbles. I work for a marble store and I collect marbles. Allison started working with glass when she moved to Lincoln five years ago. These are stained glass and fused glass kaleidoscopes. Uh, they utilize marbles as the object of the kaleidoscope. So Thanks to the internet, Allison is able to raise her family in Lincoln and also continue working as a graphic design artist for Moon Marble in KC. I'm surrounded by marbles at this store, machine made and handmade marbles alike. Allison loves the simplicity of the sphere. So the pattern inside is actually air trapped and then it's like fuming on the glass that creates the pinkish golden color. The marbles are beautiful when seen by the naked eye, but even better when seen through one of Allison's kaleidoscopes. I started making them for people that collect marbles and wanting another way of viewing their marble. Allison puts a lot of planning into her creation of kaleidoscopes. So when I make a kaleidoscope, the first thing I do is I observe. That's the most important part of my process. It begins with observing the marble and trying it out in all the different types of mirror systems that I use. Then it's off to the design table. So when I begin making a kaleidoscope, I start by first measuring the diameter of the marble because my mirrors are gonna need to be a little bit smaller than the size of the marble. And this is my cutting tool. Allison loves the and process involved in her mesmerizing art form. Draw the cutting tool on the edge there. You might be putting in more hours than you would if you're working a nine to five job, but it's hours that you don't mind putting in so much uh, when you enjoy the work. And Allison also enjoys the work she does at Lincoln's well, Architectural glass, glass Arts. It really shines nice. Owner Rod Scott appreciates Allison's attention to detail. Some people just throw it together and say, okay, it's pretty glass, but she works hard to get every part of it looking real well. If you'd like to check out some of Allison's kaleidoscopes in person, you can head on down to Architectural Glass Arts near 48th Street and Pioneers here in Lincoln, and you can also appreciate Allison's art via her website, and I'll have that address available on the Lance's Journal Facebook page. And Bill, I don't know about you, but I really enjoy peering through a kaleidoscope, discovering cool marbles. That was all part of my childhood, and this just all brought it back. It really does just make you remember being a kid. Uh, there's nothing like it, and you really need to check them out in person to really see all of the, what all those mirrors do with those very mesmerizing marbles. <laughs> Thank you, Lance. And we'll have a check at your full forecast coming up.